Then Peter came up to him and said, Lord, how often will my brother sin and I forgive him? As many as seven times. Did any of you still remember what, God told, what Jesus told him? Jesus said, 70 times 70 times. 70 times 7 times. Do you know what that means? When I was much younger in faith, I used to have this, you know, when somebody say, forgive him or forgive her, or, you know, there's this saying that, that, that was very popular. We always say, I can forgive. Even if I forgive, I can never forget. So when you have this impression that I can never forget, that means you're saying that I have forgiven. But guess what? You're still here. I can't forget what you did to me. And which means I am still holding you somewhere. And I can never release you. In fact, some will say, even if I die today, I will never forgive you. Some will say, there is nothing that will make me forgive you. Now, this is more like a bondage. And then I now realize that forgiveness does not mean forget forgetfulness or forgetting you're not going to definitely forget especially when that hurt is so deep people can mess up and another thing is one tough thing about life don't even trust anyone that oh my mom can never mess me up my dad can never do this my husband my wife no not this no anybody anybody can mess up the question now is, what if, what if, something like, what if you barge into your room and meet your wife in bed with another man? What if you entered your house and met your husband with another woman? In marriage now, I'm talking about marriage, I'm not talking of relationship. What if, what if, what if, what if that person is even your best friend? <clears throat> like... You know, I think it's best that we can live with what if. And then another thing, the reason there is a lot of divorces everywhere now is because many cannot forgive. And even if they, they can forget. And another thing is, if that person is a perpetual cheater, oh Jesus, in that case, that's another situation, oh, perpetual cheater that will not stop. I think it's best to call it a quit, call it quit. If you separate as the church advises, and then uh, this person will still not come forward because if he's really interested or she is really interested in that marriage, he or she should come back, you know, trying to reconcile back because he knows or she knows she's wrong or he's wrong. But in that case, if it doesn't happen that way, sometimes, you know, this, you know, when it comes to marriage, I think in that area, let me not go that way because that's. That's a different case. It's a different scenario. And what breaks the deal in marriages are different. Some people, they find that as deep deal breaker, including myself. Because it is it is depressing. It is, it is beyond. And we handle issues differently. So if you see anyone working out on marriage, please don't blame them. People will say, pray. Yes, it's good to pray for cheating partner. But sometimes you still need your head together. You have to go somewhere. And you have to stay in peace before you can even pray. If you're not together and it could cause any of you hurting each other or the other person is hurting herself or himself or swallowing some pills to take their own life, the best thing is separate, please. Separate for a while. Stay with people who are going to be able to help you heal. Otherwise, things will go haywire. Okay, that is that. Now, back to the verse that I'm trying to refer to. You know, it took me a while for me to realize that um, forgiveness is an ongoing process. The reason Jesus said 70 times 7 is not because Jesus wants you to... It's not because the forgiveness... The... Uh, uh, how will I put it? It's not because the space or the amount of forgiveness... Or the, the forgiveness thing is, is amount. It's, it's quantified. It is not quantified. Like, there is no amount of forgiveness. It means each time you remember, forgive. Each time you remember, forgive, especially if that person is, is remorseful. But remember, sometimes these people that hurt you, they are not even remorseful. How about that? That's when forgiveness is even most difficult. 
this person is not remorseful but the reason you have to forgive is because you just have to take yourself out of that prison because unforgiveness is like a prison yard and you are the one in it you lock yourself up imagine you remember that person and then the whole of your day is messed up you're so upset and then you now go somewhere and you the anger is all over you and then you can't even concentrate and this person you're mounting all this about <laughs> is somewhere probably in a party dancing rejoicing enjoying drinking even having you know the other thing and then you are just there beating yourself up that's why it's advisable just forgive forgive you can't forget but you can manage to forget like it comes and then you just like excuse me that's not even important right now each time it drops in your mind you just wipe it off you do things that makes you happy but make sure at the same time it is glorifying god like whatever that makes you happy and does not glorify god is not worth doing so you have to still check what makes you happy does it glorify god does it blaspheme the name of god so in that in that case then you may have to look for something else like some people will say drinking makes them happy when you drink yourself to stupor that is not glorifying god okay or humanizing or you just go to <clears throat> you keep partying and clubbing <laughs> clubbing too is dangerous sometimes so you don't want to do things that are extraordinarily not okay you can do things that are fine like hanging out with friends going to praise worship night you know do things that can make you happy and at the same time this is not against you know what god is happy about so the reason i am saying all this is to remind us that forgiveness is an ongoing process it is not a one-time situation you cannot once forgive someone you will keep remembering and each time the the hearts come back you just have to say <clears throat> i'm done with this i am i am done i'm no longer in this area i have left i've left okay i forgive you just say that to yourself i forgive him i'm done with him i, I forgive him if you're not saying that person will keep making you hot you can you know split the relationship and let everyone go but make sure the process you keep on the process you keep on forgiving so that you don't give yourself up attention hmm? forgiveness is an ongoing process it is not a one-time thing god bless us i love you mm -hmm.